the shave. Thank you, Mrs. H. Didn't want a mental uh, old fashioned post. Good, that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome to Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. Hope you're having a great, a great weekend. Great day, start off. Um, what are we using? Well, I'll tell you now. We're using a razor that came in that. West Coast Shaving. I used this for a while. This is the Hyperion. And it comes in this sort of velvet pouch. Full stainless steel. And this is a tongue and, tongue and groove. That there just holds the razor up. I think. You've seen it before if you've watched the video. So that's that. And this is it. Three piece, not adjustable. As I say, full stainless steel. Spiral knurling. Where it matters for the grip. And um, that's what we look like. So leave it apart because the blade. What have we now? I'm going to use the. I'm going to use the masset. That one there's on its own in that one. So that's under number three. So this is its fourth use. <coughs> Excuse me. Fourth use for the Gillette Nasset. So we'll use that today. So how's it going? All right. Uh, this is logoed on the base plate. Branded. There you go. Beautiful. Mm, that's better. That's better. It's probably safe to say, oh, it's very, very slight, but uh, I'd be happy to say there's no overhang there. You can see. Really nice. Brush of choice. I'm going to use this Ever Ready, um, which is the sort of vintage handle. And this is a horse hair knot. This was sent to me kindly. Uh, they set it in and sent it. And I was always, as I've said many times, I was dubious about using a horse hair because I had this notion, I don't know if they use the tail or the mane or both or whatever, of it being scratchy. But how wrong I was. A beautifully soft uh, brush, especially when it's wet and, you know, lathered up. Um, we're visiting Spain today. We're using the shaving cream Lee or Lea Classic, as you can see there. That is for sensitive skin. There is a slight menthol in this, I think. Um, and I can't remember if you can feel, you know, the, the menthol on the face. So I just put a right. I can show you the what we got in the base. Using a fine bowl, fine accoutrements. Nice uh, metal tube, this as well. So we'll wet the brush. I haven't soaked the horse hair brush, I'm just sort of wetting it. I find that's good enough, really, for that. There you go, three shakes. You can always add the water. I don't remember the scent. Oh, nice. Yeah, lovely. Have you enjoyed any shaves this last week? Hopefully. Are you having a nice relaxing one this weekend? If you are, let me know what it is. Shave of the day, thank you. Um, I had a comment in the last, was it my last video? Uh, I forgot his name now. And uh, it stated um, that I'm using, come on, what did I say? You're using the same old razors in your rotation. And I think he means old as in the vintage. Um, Paul, get some new ones. Well, no, <laughs> it's not about that. If um, nothing wrong with having new ones, buying new ones, but uh, 
it's not that's not about it for me if you know what i mean i i mean you don't just use things i've said look at this beautiful you don't just use things once do you um using vintage razors of course i'm going to use them again and again um like these i don't use them for months sometimes seven eight months ten months twelve months uh can pass before i use a razor so no, I'm not going to go out just to, I'm not, what I'm trying to say is I'm not buying razors to make videos. If that's, you know, if I'm sent them, that's fine. Or if I buy them because I want to, that's fine. But I don't buy things just to make videos. It's, um, that's not my thing. I just enjoy the shaving hobby. And I'm very happy with a lot of stuff I've got. A lot of choice and that's just bits of it. So, um, anyway, hope that answers that for you. Respectfully, of course. Yeah, need a shave, right? Here we go. Oh, that's hot, isn't it? That's lovely. Whoa. Do you get where I'm coming from with that? Yeah. Because, uh, especially the vintage, if you buy a decent these days a decent vintage razor you need a good bit of money in the bank it mounts up doesn't it beautifully soft not getting any uh menthol yet it's a lovely scent. I can't describe it. Yeah, I can't describe it. All I can say is a nice scent. <laughs> That's an easy get out, isn't it? There we go. Right, spring, summer. Has spring arrived, summer, in your part of the world. We'll heat up the uh, Hyperion. As I say, it's a full stainless steel, non-adjustable. And we've got that Gillette Nasset fourth use. Here we go. First pass. Yeah, it feels very precise. Nice, this. That is, that, oh, I'm just getting um, just a touch of menthol on the edge of my lips. Just a hint. I'll probably feel more after the first pass. Uh, but it's not as strong. Um, menthol, for me anyway. This is a lovely blade. Fourth use. And it's very smooth. I like the aggression on this razor. It's not aggressive. I just like its aggression. The way it is, it's a, I'd say it's a sort of mild to standard aggression. But very efficient. And it probably feels so nice. And I like this aggression probably because the precision it's been made, you see, because they, they are pre precision made, aren't they, these stainless steel? 
really nice. So we'll see now. Yeah, so it's just a very slight mentally cooling effect, um, which is nice. Very, very slick and a gorgeous scent, which I can't describe. This brush is, it just amazes me how soft it is. I'm sorry now, I didn't get a horsehair brush a long time ago. As I say, that's the only reason I didn't, was uh, I expected it to be scratchy. Because the horse hair looks thick, doesn't it? It's quite... Unless it's treated some way first, I'm not sure. But it's very nice. So, that's a lovely first pass. The razor's keeping nice and clean. We'll go across the growth. Here we go. Yeah, so any plans today? Oh, this weekend. See my stomach rumbling again. And then um, doing a, I'm trying to bring on summer, you see, so I'm doing a salad today, chicken salad. I got some chicken thighs on the bone, cook them, crispy skin, and then sort of chop it up, take the bone out, any crystal, and then just chop it up, uh, put in a bowl of salad, which is iceberg lettuce, um, cucumber, tomato, spring onions, hard boiled eggs, all chopped up. Um, pickled beetroot. I've got potato salad or something like that. Um, and I've got some spicy salsa, tomato salsa from spare from my um, uh, from my hot and spicy. Last night. This is beautiful. Really relaxing. Effortless, really. Um, some baton, or French bread as we call it. French stick. Not that long. Got a couple of them. Mrs H might like one. And I stick them in the oven after the chickens then. So they heat up and then when you cut open, the steam, crusty, proper butter inside melts and then, and then you have a bit of salad, bit of bread. Bit of <laughs> and maybe I, I can feel it a bit more now, but nothing again, nothing major, the mental. Um, and it's really nice. I have got some balsamic vinegar sort of dressing there as well. I might put a bit of that in. I'm like that. I, you know, I know what I'm doing as in a meal or recipe. And then I'll, last minute, I'll think of something or an addition and just put it in. Lovely. And some cold beer to wash it down. It's a treat. Against, against the growth, here we go. Um, me and Mrs. H were talking the other day about uh, when we can do some more outdoor shaves and on location shaves. Always enjoy them.
What's the meal of the day as well, yeah? God, you have some nice, nice meals. I could, sometimes I've just eaten. And then I read your comments of, oh, I'm having this, God, this sound. You have such a way, some of you, of um, explaining in the comments what you're having. And it sounds, it would sell it to me. Yeah, it's a lovely um, sort of mild to mid aggression, but it's a very close shaving razor and it feels, as I say, so precise and so comfortable. Which, as I say, you'd expect from a precision made instrument. Um, and they're more expensive than the standard build, aren't they? So, uh, good for under the nose. Mouth corners, lovely. And, um, but I, I, I'm not sure, they've, when they first come out stainless steel, whew, it could be very uh, expensive, but I think, I think they've come down a bit now. But with the way the world is, you know, the economics and things, maybe things have gone up again, I don't know. It's, uh, that's why you use the same razors over and over. <laughs> very, very slick. So slick, we're going to do pickup time. Three, two, one. Pickup time, baby. Yeah. That was good. So just start to... So I've got a thumbnail of cream there, beautiful, really nice, a good summer. Uh, I've been using menthol a good bit lately, not really intentional, um, just happens to be um, very nice. Some stronger than others, as my um, reaction would have told you in uh, one of the baby. We're going to use the Allen block today instead of which hazel for a change. Yeah, very good slip. I think it's safe to see it's a very sort of fresh clean centre but there's something you know when you smell something you think oh that's nice but you don't know what it is but you think oh, that's nice it's one of them one of them scents it probably It reminds me of something, maybe, and uh, not coming to me. I would do, that's lovely, you overdo it too much. If you never do, overdo it. No, I know. Right. Cold water rinse. We're going to stay wet because, we, as I say, we're using the uh, yellow. Yeah, and that does feel wet. No, that does feel cold. Right, where is it? What's that? Here we go. No reaction, no sting. Not that I'd expect it to be. So 
sometimes you can feel it on the neck, but nothing. Oh, just a touch here. Hmm. There we go. So while that's uh, doing its thing on there, we've used, this is the West Coast Shaving Hyperion Full Stainless Steel three-piece non-adjustable razor. Nicely made, well balanced. I'd say roughly where my thumb is. I, can, I might be in that indentation actually. No, it's slightly there. The balance point without dropping it is there. Um, spinal knurling, lovely to handle. Um, mild to mid aggression for me with a beautiful close feeling shave, really efficient and nice and the Gillette Nasset fourth use, perfect, really nice, you, as I say you wouldn't have thought it's done for shaves, I thought there was something flying about here. We've used the Everready 150 handle with a horsehair knot, beautiful soft brush, gives out um, the lather no problem bit better than the ball brush in that way. Um, fine accoutrements ball, or the, the uh, cream of choice of course was the Lee or Lea um, shaving cream, classic. Uh, slight mentholated, not strong, but you can tell it's there. Uh, beautiful scented soap and very, very slick. Uh, we've just rinsed off with water. We've just used Mr. Allen, and we're about to rinse that off and put some aftershave on. Oh, that is cold. Some people leave the alum on, but I find it just drives like a like a crusty type of thing, so I, I rinse it off. That's nice. There we go. And we're gonna have another Spanish product. We're gonna this is mentholated as well. This is the Mersal uh, aftershave, green. Oh, is it the minty one, isn't it? Yeah. I think mint. Oh, off the, off the, uh, oh, look. Overdone it. Yeah. What would that be? Tree balls, extra strong mint. Straight away. Lovely. Bit more than that. It is mentholated. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure my dad would have liked that mint. He might have done because he used to eat mints. That's why I treated myself the other day, you know. Um, I seen a pack of extra strong mints and I put them in my bag and had one now and again and as I'm driving along in work and really nice well, you haven't had them for a long time it takes you back to to my younger days well remind me the scent the scent the, the um, taste and the smell of it reminded me of my dad and my grandfather always eating them and we're going to use that just to finish off yeah I know you might think, God, you reminisce a lot in the videos. It's only because these things remind me of uh, my childhood, a certain person, a place, a room. Um, a lot of times in here, what I use reminds me of my father, bathroom, you know. Um, yeah, so it's nice, I think. So that's what we look like. Really pleased with that. And that is it. I shall... Oh. Nivea, fresh kick, that's nice that. I shall moy thee no more. Um, so wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a great weekend, a great day, great shaves if you're having one. Um, look after yourselves and thank you for joining me. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the weekend shave. That aftershave's got a bit of mental in it. It's making my eyes glaze. But not silly when I was like this. But I like it.
anyway, all the best to you. Thanks for watching and bye bye. Thank you.